Hi everyone, this is S. Benenta, back with another video. Let's take a look at Tom Hardy's Venom behind the scenes. I mean, from the 2018 movie. And of course, I'll tell you some interesting facts about this character and how did Tom Hardy become Venom. Ready? Let's go! So, the film released in the 30th anniversary year of Venom's debut in Marvel Comics. Tom Hardy's son, Louis Thomas Hardy, is a fan of Venom, and Hardy took the role to please him. Besides portraying Ed Brock, Tom Hardy also provided the voice and physical stand-in for several scenes of Venom. Tom Hardy developed a special technique. He recorded his lines for the Venom symbiote during pre-production, and they were played back to the actor through an earpiece on set during scenes where Brock and the symbiote talked to each other. Tom Hardy came up with the process during the filming of Legend, in which he plays twins. He based his performance as Eddie Brock and Venom on Woody Allen, martial artist fighter Conor McGregor, and Harrison Ford from Indiana Jones. Originally, Tom Hardy was going to portray Venom in motion capture visual effects, but that plan was scrapped because his facial features couldn't be imitated. However, he did perform as Venom on camera in the costume of Brock, over which Venom was animated in keyframe to match the movements and stunts of Hardy. So Venom is fully CGI in the film. Ok, now listen to this line. Eyes, lungs, pancreas. It comes from the 1992 Amazing Spider-Man comic book, number 374. In the comics, the Venom symbiote was initially worn by Peter Parker as a Spider-Man suit after he finds it on another planet, before eventually separating and bonding with Eddie Brock. By the way, the name of Brock's apartment building – Schuller after Randy Schuller, a Marvel Comics fan who in 1982 suggested the idea of giving Spider-Man a black costume. However, the movie makes the symbiote's independent discoveries of the Life Foundation, removing any connection to Spider-Man. And as you can see, the giant white spider insignia that typically appears on Venom's chest is absent. The film was originally envisioned as a direct spin-off from Spider-Man 3, though Topher Grace was not slated to return to the role. By the way, Topher Grace praises Tom Hardy as Venom. For those who don't know, Venom's first appearance on the big screen was in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3 and played by Topher Grace. You can watch my behind-the-scenes video of Venom from that movie. Tom Hardy describes Venom as a tragic clown. There is something funny about the circumstances of having a tragic gift. It's a superpower you don't really want, but at the same time, you love it. It makes you feel special. He's both a reluctant hero and an anti-hero. Tom Hardy has revealed that 30 or 40 minutes of the film, including his favorite sequences, was removed. And one more thing, he considers Venom the coolest Marvel hero. Well, that's all, my friends. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye!